sisters, our woman of the nation of Israel, because that's where you come from. That's You're right. of the nation of Israel. You are of the nation of Israel. Now read Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Here's what God says about the nation you come from. That's read right. this. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. Sister, you didn't hear this in the Catholic Church. What we're reading, you did not hear this in the Catholic Church. Come on. For now, art and holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto the himself. Lord, the Lord God of Israel have chosen thee, thee, thee to be a special what? People. To be a special people. Sister, what does it mean to be special? Because God is calling you special, but what does it mean to be special? What does it mean? What does it mean, sis? Don't be, I, don't be so angry and prideful you don't want to answer your own brothers. You can answer us. What does it mean when God says to be what? A you're special blessed. people to yourself. What does it mean, sis? Here's the definition. Special, better, greater, or otherwise different from what is usual. Wait, so read that again? Better. Better, God says we as a people are better, better than who? The other nations. What? Hey, who are you talking to? Greater! Greater! God says greater. Read. Exceptional. Read. Or otherwise different from what is usual. Now, God says that's what we are as a people. Better, greater, exceptional. But what makes us very low? Our actions. Our actions. So we were dealing with the way a woman dresses, right? We're special people, right? But listen to this. Deuteronomy 23, 23 17. This is what makes us very low. This is what makes us very low. Read. Deuteronomy 23, verse 17. There shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel. Now, read this. Read this definition. Listen to this. Whore! The base oneself by doing something for unworthy motives. Now, notice special means greater, exceptional, different from others. That's what God calls our sisters, our brothers of the nation of Israel. But when we were dealing with the topic of the way a woman dresses, what makes that sister very low? Look at the definition for whore. Listen. Whore. The base. Whore means the basing. Mm. The basing meaning you're already bringing yourself lower than what you actually are. Come on. The base oneself by doing something for unworthy motives. You're doing something for unworthy motives. Because, for example, think about it. What's the reason for women dressing like whores? What's the reason by it? It's only going to lead to adultery. It's only going to lead to what? A sister being pregnant, the man just leaving, right? You understand? Look at the board that we have right here. DNA testing. Look at what fills our communities. Look at the board. The board. Leviticus 19.29. Lest the land become to war. Is that Leviticus 19.29? Watch, listen to this. Do you see this in Park Slope, Brooklyn? No. Do you see this in Manhattan? No. But you see it in our communities. Why? Because that sin runs rampant throughout our communities. Right. Do you watch the Maury show? Have you ever seen the Maury show? Maury Povich. Maury Povich. You ever seen it before? The Caucasian man where he sets up a panel and our sisters, a lot of young black women, older black women, they don't know who the father is and they go to Maury to, give a DNA, to get DNA testing to find out. He, did, he does a DNA test. He brings a bunch of brothers to the stage you never seen Maury Povich? You never seen Maury Povich? Exactly, you know what we're talking about, so read this. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 29. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. So we read what whore means, debasing oneself for unworthy motives, unworthy reasons. Read it again. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. So the Bible says don't prostitute your daughter to cause her to be a whore. Let me ask you a question, brother. Does that run rampant in our communities? Are there a lot of whores in our communities? Yes, there are. Now, go to Matthew. The basing oneself for unworthy motives. 
So that means that debasing debasing oneself yes from for what? unworthy motives. So how do our women debase themselves to become whores? As a, as a, okay, that's. Oh, but oh, not brother. dressing, by not dressing with tight clothes and everything. How do men become whores? That's in the same scripture. We read that earlier. You just got here late, brother. You just got here late. Just listen, brother, listen. The point is, you see the sign here? That's what we were reading about. That's what it produces. The women don't get the women don't get pregnant by themselves. It takes men to do it. So men have to have some sense as well. So if a whole lot of men are a whole lot of men are dealing with one woman, that's how she ends up on Maury Povich. And then when they all brought to the stage, everybody been talking about some, it wasn't me, it wasn't me, it wasn't me. That's where this garbage comes from. But it comes from breaking God's laws. Read the law again. Yes, y'all be doing well. Demand them. I don't want to come at me. I don't want to come at me. Of the sons of Israel. Women. You're not listening, brother. You, you, what you acting? You acting feminine right now. This was no, never no. about attacking women. I what don't know what group you got us mixed with. The responsibility belongs to the man. That's the right. reason why the nation of Israel is messed up is because men are weak. That's right. They allow their women, they allow their daughters to grow up with That's no right. guidance, no nothing. This right here is the, the ultimate disastrous result of men of not raising their daughters. That's right. So this is not about putting women on blast. Okay. This is really a slur on our manhood. That's what it is. When you got, when you got a wait, hold up. Look at the sign there. I guarantee you, you won't see my daughter out here like this. You don't know? I have a daughter and she will not come out like this. You don't know? Right. You don't don't play, hey, don't play nothing. Don't play fingers. Don't play fingers out there. We are married to women, and our women are taken care of, and our daughters are taken care of. That's we right. can only tell people this when we lead by example. Right. We don't. You won't see our daughters getting on television, having ten men talk about which one is my father. Oh, mm. that's right. Again. They are doing it. Not, 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 not our sons. Not us. They are doing so that's what we're here to do. We're here to lead the way to show you how you're supposed to deal with your women. That's so right. They don't end up like this. You cannot live in the same predicament. You cannot live when you're in the same predicament. You're a Sodomite. That's it. I said that. Crap. I don't have to say. These people don't like the preacher. What is the scripture just say? You're not even listening. It's crap. You're crazy as hell. You're not even listening to the scripture. Read it again. There shall be no harm of the daughters of Israel. No Sodomite. Of the sons of Israel. So you hear what the Bible said? What the Bible said? Did you hear it? What the Bible said? Read it. There shall be no harm of the daughters of Israel. You mean to tell me this is the first time you heard of this? But guess what? You've been standing here for at least 20 minutes. And the brother been reading this over and over again. And this is your first time you're hearing it? Because your mouth is open. Because your mouth is open and your ears are closed. They got a horse in Israel? Read it again. That's right. From this guy, no horns of the daughters of Israel. They got horns in our nation, our trade. Our nation, our trade. Our nation, our trade. Our nation, our trade. Our nation, our still open and you're not listening. Read it again. There shall be no horns. And you're going to pay for that because you're cursing against the Lord's word. So you're going to pay for that. Read it again. There shall be no horns of the daughters of Israel. What did it just say? What did it just say? It said there shall be no horns of the daughters of Israel. It ain't talking about all nations. Read it again. There shall be no horn of the daughters of Israel. The daughters of Israel. That's who the Bible is talking about. It's talking about the daughters of Israel. Not all nations. You don't even know who you are. What is your nationality? Who are you? Who are you? Who am I? I'm a chosen one to don't I you to show the people I am faith. I faith. What nation of people do you come from? I come from Christ. You come from Christ? What nation was he? What what nation is? What what before you come to when you come a child of Israel? What make you a child of Israel? You probably buy Jamaica, you got a fucking Israel blood in you. What is on you? You don't know what you're talking about. I talk in the fuck. Uh, Hebrews 7 to 4. I parasite. Parasite the black people. You are in a I need to boy. get out of here. You got in a I need to move from there. I garbage. 
Hebrews chapter Hebrews 7, what? verse 14. Wait, wait. Hey, for it is evident that, that our tomorrow. Lord sprang out of Judah. Judah. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. The yes. Lord is talking about his Christ. That's so right. Christ came from the what tribe of Judah, of the nation of Israel. Tell right. people, now, what makes you a Jew? What makes you a Jew? I ask you what makes you a Jew. Tell him people what makes you a Jew. Tell him brothers and sisters out there what make I a Jew. What make I tell of Israel. You look like you ready to fight. You look like you ready to fight. Look at you. You ready to fight? You can't win nobody like that without, without this position. It's true. You ready to fight? You ready to fight? Chapter 28, verse 28. The Lord shall smite thee with Young. madness. The Lord shall smite thee with madness. Look at your Read again. The Lord shall smite thee with madness. The Lord shall smite our people with craziness. That's right. For my camera, I am parasite. You can read that Bible. Why make I a Jews? The reason why we're reading it because you're being mocked by the Lord. That's the reason why we're reading it. You can talk all the garbage you want, but the angels are recording everything that you're saying That's and right. how you feel. That's right. That's the reason why we're reading it. This is not so you don't understand. This is not, this is not, this is not personal. This is what the Lord said. What the Lord said? We state in the Bible. We're going to read he the said, Bible. Don't like cast no stone. If you're living in a glass house. Don't cast no stone. 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 Don't cast no as the blind group of in darkness, you're, you're like a blind man in the dark. You know that I can't touch this the, 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 the sun is way up in the sky, high noon, and he's walking around like he's in the dark. Only I alone can touch the child of God. And thou shalt prove the child of God. As the blind group of in darkness, as a blind, 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 blind man, you 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 have no more sight. Than a I blind see, man. That's what he's saying. Blind Even though the hey, sun is right up above hey, you. Read it again. Hey, don't cast no As the blind group no in darkness, and no thou shall not prosper no in no thy ways. Remember, I tell you that. You're not. Don't cast no stones. What stones are we casting? Don't what does cast that mean? No stones, what does that mean? Okay. Give me Judges. Give me uh, uh, hey, Matthews. Give me judge. Matthews. What does that mean? You listen. You will go. You will go. You will be in court Monday morning being judged, and you won't say nothing. But when the Lord, when the when the script, when the scriptures come out, the Bible is judging you, not us. The Bible is judging you. That's what's judging you. The Bible is judging you. Listen to your other half the Bible. Deuteronomy 28, verse 29. And thou shalt prove at noonday as the blind group in darkness. You can read that shit all day. I clung, clung. I like to watch me. I look like I'm ready to jump on me. Don't look to jump on me. Can't jump on that is. That every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. Read it again. That every idle word, idle words meaning words against God's Bible, that men shall speak, that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. That you shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. You're going to pay for it. Read it again. And you can talk this how you want. Every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. You're going to pay for that. How you want it to sing? How you want it to sing? That's how the Bible is. Proverbs. You're not the asshole. When you read the Bible, you talk. It's about how you want Proverbs to see. Proverbs 15 and 3. Listen, That's how the Bible has The eyes of the Lord are in every place. The eyes of the Lord God is in every place. Beholding the evil and the good. Beholding the evil and the good. So your evil words, you're going to pay for that. That's right. You're going to pay for that. That's right. Not says I, but says the Bible. Read it again. The eyes of the Lord 
are in every place. Now let me say something to you brothers and sisters. You wonder the reason why our nation is so messed up is because we got men like this in our household. Right. Men that will not stand up for what the Bible says to correct the evil when they see it. Right. He's That's running right. around like some feminine woman talking about, oh, you can't judge. His behind will get judged tonight. He, in the, the cops will pull him over, throw cuffs on him, send him in front of the judge, and he will sit there and say, yes, give me the judgment. And he won't <laughs> say nothing. Right. But here's God trying to tell you how to stay out of trouble, how to clean your communities up, how to be responsible men, how to be responsible women, how to bring your children up in the laws of God. That's right. That's what's going to rid this nation of evil. Right. And then we got these feminine-minded brothers that come out here and say this garbage. They're going to pay for that. They're going to pay for that. Because nothing is going to supersede the Most High's word. That's right. This has nothing to do with us per se. This is what the Bible says. Hey, come on back, brother. Hey, you see when they had it come? When they had it come? When they had it come? When they broke it, guys. No, listen up. Listen up. <laughs> What we was teaching that got this brother right here mad right. was that was that a sister, a woman, should not be dressing as a harlot. That's what we was teaching. And this brother got mad because of that. But this is what God says. Read. Psalms 94, 16. Read. Who will rise up to me against the evildoers? So God says, who's going to rise up for him against the evildoers? You understand? Who gonna see evil and speak against it? Because brothers, brothers like this brother and the brother that was here early on, they ain't, they ain't gonna speak against it. They ain't gonna show our people the right way to go. But what they gonna do? They gonna come against men of the Lord. You understand? They gonna come against men of the Lord, the prophets, and try to prove them wrong. But read. Oh, who will stand up for me against the workers? Of iniquity. So God says, who's going to stand up for him against the workers of iniquity? Hey, when we see things wrong in our community, we're going to fix it. No, you ain't standing up for nothing, brother. You ain't standing. What are we doing? What was we doing? We was correcting the sister. Letting the sister know, listen, you should not dress the way you dress. You understand? That's how we fix it. You understand? Isaiah 58. So okay, go put on a dress and a skirt and run around in panties. Go do that then. You understand? Who chases it? Who chases Isaiah 58 verse 1. Read. Cry aloud. Spin not. I hope you all see this brother is crazy. I hope you all see that. This brother, this dude, you are not a child of God. You need to repent. You need to repent. Because Christ dressed like this. That's right. Are you Christ? Are you Christ? Cry aloud. Spare not. So Christ said to, the scripture said to cry aloud. Spare not. Read on. Lift up the voice like a trumpet. To lift up our voice like a trumpet. Read on. And show my people their transgressions. Read on. And the house of Jacob. So that's what we are here to do. We are here to show our people their sins. Because who you blacks and Hispanics are, you all are the children of Israel. That's right. You all came over here enslaved for breaking God's laws. And it's time for you all to repent and go back to the shoot of, of who you are. Go to Deuteronomy 28 and 68. Read that. Deuteronomy 28 and 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. Again with ships. So listen up, you blacks, you always bought over here on cargo slave ships. It was prophesied by Moses thousands of years ago that you were going to go into slavery on ships. And when was it fulfilled? In the 1600s. You understand? Read that again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So our forefathers came over here on cargo slave ships. Brothers, these brothers like that, they don't, they don't teach you that. You understand? They didn't learn that in the church system. But guess what? That's what we are here to teach you all. To teach you all who you all are. To teach you all repentance. That you are the chosen people of God. That's what's so bad about You understand? And guess what? When we teach you all this, you got people fighting against us. That's the devil. That's all that is. But read. Bye. The way world I spake unto thee. Moses said, just the way I tell you how you are going to go into slavery, that's how you are going to go into slavery. On ships. You understand? Read on. Thou shalt see it. 
No more again. And we shall not see our homeland anymore again. Read on. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemy. And when we got off them slave ships, what happened to us? What happened to us when we got off them slave ships, brother? What happened to our people when we got off them slave ships? We, we was it again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. We were sold unto our enemies. You understand? That's what happened to our forefathers when they came over here in slavery. You understand? And that's why we are here. We are here to show you that you are in the Bible. This is you. Moses prophesied this happening to you thousands of years ago. That's and it right. happened in the 1600s. You understand? Read it again. And, there from the top. and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Read on. By the way whereof I speak unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Read on. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. So the Bible says, sister, we shall be sold unto our enemies. You understand? That's what happened to us. And they're still doing it, but in a slick way. They're trying exactly. to be slick. Right? You write about that. that. Come 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 on, on, I'm, I'm gonna bring it back. You're right, sister. They are still doing it. But the point, the the, the, the point that's being great, the point that's being brought up is that our people, including this man that just left, he has no clue that he is of the Bible. He has no clue that he's the children of the most high. He, don't know. he doesn't chosen. know. Our people chosen. don't know that. Right even though they've been listen to what I'm saying, even though our people been in church all their lives. No, Gideon. Only thing they've been following is a white Christ that the Bible does not talk about. The Bible does not talk about a white Christ. The Bible speaks of a black Christ. And the history, listen, sister, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna let the brother come back, but I want to hear what you, I want to say what I'm saying. The Bible is talking about what happened to us as a nation. What we've been talking about the whole trip was about why is our nation so messed up? It's because the laws of God are being broken. You follow me? So when, it, so when we're telling our people about the laws that, that our people broke, it is supposed to make us upset. It's supposed to get, because chastisement is something that's not comfortable. You understand? Right. If, if it's not comfortable. If, if, when your parents punished you, it's because you did something wrong. Yeah, it did not seem about. right. Uh -huh. Right. It did not seem right when you were being punished. Right. But in the end, you will wake up with a better mind. That's the reason why the Lord put this on us, to wake us up. Because if he, really, if he meant for us to be destroyed totally, he would not have given us this truth to come back. We would have been destroyed forever. Because when, because before Christ was put on the cross to die, we were done. It was only through Christ is the reason why we got back into the good graces to have a chance to repent. That's the point. And a lot of our people, just like the scriptures say, 66 out of every 100 of our people are going to die because they don't want to repent. That's right. important. Right. Two thirds of our people will not repent. So a lot of times people think this is a game. That's why I had them read the scriptures about what Christ said. Because our people are going to be marked by what God said. They're thinking that because our they people are so... Got, um, right, listen well what I'm saying. Order. Right, listen sister. Our people are so eager to fight against what they think is their own people. You follow right, what I'm saying? Right, yeah. So when they see black faces like themselves, they say, oh, that's just another nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they have, no, they have no problem in attacking their own brothers. You follow me? So that's the reason why I removed myself from it and let them know, listen, you're not just dealing with mere black men, you're dealing with what the Lord said. Right. You understand? That's the point.